I'd like to call this special meeting of the Hinkley Township Board of Trustees to order on Tuesday, August 22 at 6.30 p.m. for the purpose of a public meeting. I'll call the roll. Augustine? Here. Nashville? Here. Swedek? Here. The Hinkley Township Board of Trustees is going to discuss evidence concerning the cleanup of property pursuant to statutes ORC, uh, uh, pursuant to of statutes ORC section 505.86, ORC section 505.87, and ORC section 505.871, and the next steps in abating the nuisance regarding property owned by Vaso Milojevic, Milovic, located at 25 River Road, Hinkley Township, Medina County, permanent parcel number 016-03B-03-023. Um, first, I would ask Tom, you want to come up? Uh, I think Tom? we have to read the rest of it, Jack, just because that's a public notice that we put in. The whole notice? Yeah, copies of the documents. Copies of the documents pertaining to the public hearing will be available for public viewing from the date of this notice to the date of the hearing at the, at the administration office located in the administration building at 1410 Ridge Road during regular office hours, Monday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Friday, 9 a.m. to noon. Information may also be found on the Hinkley website at www.hinkleytwp.org under news and events. All interest parties are asked to attend this hearing. And now, Tom, if you would come up and just give us a summary of what's transpired and then uh, today's inspection. It's just for virtual. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Tom Zablotny from uh, Inkley Township Assistant Zoning Inspector. And basically, uh, we've just been dealing with this property at 25 River Road and trying to get it cleaned up with the junk, debris, scrap metal, junk vehicles. And uh, no action has been taken on part of the uh, property owner, Vassal Milosevic. So we just, uh, the township has gone through the procedure of trying to get him to clean up the property and he's not acknowledging any uh, phone calls, uh, certified mails that he's in violation of uh, the junk debris, uh, unlicensed junk vehicles. So uh, throughout the course of uh, time here, we, I, we've been going out and inspecting and uh, no progress has been made to this date. In fact, I just went out this morning to verify that no progress has been made uh, on the cleanup of the property. So yeah, we turn it over to the prosecutor's office and now it's just a matter of trying to contract, the township contracting uh, someone to go in there and clean up the property. Tom, can you just give us a recap? You had spoken with Chief Setner. I know he had had relationship or conversation with the, the um, daughter in, who's the, related to this gentleman. Yeah. Any feedback from him? Uh, no, I, uh, yesterday I walked over to the police department and spoke with him and one of the, you know, the status of, you know, report of, and right now he said he hand delivered the court order or the order the cleanup order, resolution order from the prosecutor's office and uh, to, to the daughter. And he hasn't heard uh, anything from her. So okay. it's basically. And just for the record, Mr. Um, Maholovich? Milosevic. Milosevic. Okay. I think it's Milosevic. not in attendance this evening. No. No, I don't see him. Great, the lacking his <coughs> attendance or anyone from his family or any representative. Um, I will open it up to discussion from the board. I, I think we should move forward with the resolution that authorizes the township to clean up the property as next steps. A um, couple things. I spoke with um, Chief Sentner today as well just to kind of follow up. Um, and he told me everything that you just said. Um, he, had, yeah. he had 
said, and, you know, there was communication with kind of a plan to move forward with the children of the property owner and all communication has really stopped since that initial communication. And in the spirit of moving forward with this, I feel that at this point, no steps have been taken. So I think that it comes down to credibility. We have to do what we said we would do with this. I have a couple of concerns with it. Um, I had mentioned um, to you both, you know, a couple months ago, and Chief Sentner kind of agreed with this also. I think that we should have police presence. If we're going to be sending someone onto this gentleman's property, I think that it's in everyone's best interest to, for safety, to have a police presence there. Yeah. Um, Chief Sentner did agree with that. And he said, at least to begin the process with, um, maybe, maybe it's going to be fine and we're not going to need them, but he thinks that we should have police presence, um, at least at the beginning of the process. And his payroll does not allow for that. So we would have to do this as a paid detail. So that would be something we would have to discuss um, in terms of timelines. But then also, I'm not sure that we can make the resolution tonight because of the press, um, because of the press release that we released. It said that this was going to be a public hearing to discuss this and to discuss next steps. In the past, the past practice of what we did last year was we have a public hearing as a special meeting, and then we adjourn and have another special meeting for the resolution and vote. I'm sorry, may, may you I speak to that? Sorry. So you, this is the second step in the process. You had the first public meeting would be the first set of resolutions which were set out. The order was then published in the newspaper along with this second notice, which was published as a special meeting. So there has been the order in which was notified and he was hand delivered. So in this process, um, this is would have been the hearing had he been present. Mm -hmm. And he would have been able to present if his family members or representative was here, he would have been able to come in and say, I did clean up, I did remove these. So you, you are legally permitted to move forward with the second resolution tonight. We've dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's and put in all the publications. I don't think she's questioning that. I think she's questioning public notice as we, we discuss it tonight and normally, we would have to indicate that we would also be conducting a vote because it's a special meeting. It's not a regular trustee meeting. But that's under the original notice. Right. The, the, the order was published on the 20th. Oh, I don't forget what date you published the notice and you handed him that notice. We can still vote at a special meeting. We do it all the time. Well, but we voted a special meeting when it is um, published as such. This but is not, I'm this saying, is I'm not, published that we will be voting on this. And please understand, I'm not, I'm not against this. I'm just saying for protocol, because while I have been sitting at this table, we have had two public hearings and both times we have had the public hearing as a special meeting. We have adjourned the special meeting. And then there is immediately another special meeting following that is for the purpose of the resolution and the vote. That is what we have done for the last year and a half since I have been at this table. That those, is- Those were very different from these. So, and, and just for the record, this is Ms. Carroll from the Medina County Prosecutor's Office. Can you speak to that? Because it's my understanding in doing this in the past that we can make the resolution at the hearing. Yes. And, and, and I, technically we gave them a hearing date. Mm -hmm. The onus is technically on, by law, the onus is on the, um, individual, he was supposed to contact you and set up a hearing date. We were very generous under the statute. We gave him 30 days and set a hearing date. If he wanted to move this date or change this date, he had every right to contact one of you guys to do that. So just by saying that we're holding a hearing, we're allowed to vote on it? Correct. Tonight. Because you already said you were voting on it in your previous I'm public. Not, I'm not talking about the, the individual involved. I'm talking about for legally allowed yes. to vote at this meeting. Tonight. Yes. 
we don't have to announce that we're going to be voting in any type of hearing or special meeting announcement. We regularly vote during those things. I just, I, I do not recall ever um, voting during a special meeting. That is why we have like our a, work sessions. We right. are in this, in this instance, right, right but it's but a special in this, meeting. But in this instance, you would be clogging the process in that you would be then having to publish another order, another notice, and another set of resolution costing additional money to publish that order stating that you now were going to vote on another date. Well, we, we gave we him, opinion from the prosecutor's office yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> so is, can I move forward with the resolution? This time I'd like to move to adopt resolution 082223-01 to remove the garbage, refuse, and debris, junk motor vehicles, and insecure, unsafe, or structurally defective building that have accumulated on the property known as 25 River Road, Hinkley, Ohio. Parcel number 01603B as in boy. 03023 owned by Vasil Mahalovic Jr. Whereas Ohio Revised Code section 505.86 authorizes a board of township trustees to provide for the removal, repair, or securance of buildings or other structures in the township that are declared insecure, unsafe, or structurally defective. Whereas the Ohio Revised Code section 505.87 authorizes a board of township trustees by resolution to provide for the abatement, control, or removal of vegetation, garbage, refuse, and other debris from the land in the township if the board determines that the owner's maintenance of the vegetation, garbage, refuge, or other debris constitutes a nuisance. And Ohio Revised Code Section 505.871 authorizes a board of township trustees to move, remove any vehicles located in the unincorporated territory of the township that the trustees determine to be junk motor vehicles as defined in ORC Section 505. 0.173E. And whereas the Hinckley Township Board of Trustees on July 18th, 2023, by resolution 071823 02, ordered the removal of trash, refuge, debris, vegetation, and approximately 16 junk motor vehicles and the repair, removal, or securance of the unsafe building shed at 25 River Road, Hinckley, Ohio, parcel number 01603B03023, owned by Vasil Mahalovic Jr in the order the trustees set August 22nd, 2023 as a date for the hearing to permit Vasa Mahalovic Jr. or any record lien holders to challenge the order. Whereas the trustees gave notice of the order by one, by a certified mail return receipt requested addressed to Vasa Mahalovic Jr., which was not responded to, and two, the order was hand delivered on July 19th, 2023 to Vasa Mahalovic Jr. by Tom Wilson, zoning inspector, Tom Zablotny, Assistant Zoning Inspector and Police Officer at the property of 25 River Road, Hinkley, Ohio, parcel number 01603B03023. Three, the order was published in the Medina County Gazette on July 21st, 2023. And four, a public hearing notice was advertised on August 8th, 2023 regarding the 25 River Road, Hinkley, Ohio, parcel number 01603B03023. Whereas the Hinkley Township zoning inspector was not contacted by the property owner or any representative of the property owner to request a hearing with the township trustees to challenge this order at the hearing on August 22nd, 2023. Whereas on August 22nd, 2023, the trustees convened a hearing on the matter. Vasil Mahalovic Jr. was not present on August 22nd, 2023 at the Hinkley Township meeting. Vasil Mahalovic Jr. did not present any evidence that the identified vehicles were not junk and Vasil Mahalovic Jr. did not present any evidence that the property has been cleared of vegetation, garbage, refuse, and other debris. And Vasil Mahalovic Jr. did not present any evidence that the unsecure, unsafe and structured defective building shed had been secured. Whereas the Hinckley Township Assistant Zoning Inspector testified that the junk vehicles, the unsecure, unsafe, and structurally defective building shed and the vegetation, garbage, refuge, and other debris has not been removed as required by the order. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the Board of Trustees of Hinckley Township reaffirmed their determination that the owner's maintenance of the vegetation, garbage, refuge, and other debris constitutes a nuisance. The building is unsecured, unsafe, and structurally defective building shed and the approximately 16 vehicles are junk. Section one, the Board of Trustees of Hinckley Township directs the removal of all vegetation, debris, and trash on the property owned by Vasa Mahalovic Jr. on 25 River Road, Hinckley, Ohio, 
parcel number 01603B03023, section two, the trustees direct its removal and dispose of the approximately 16 junk motor vehicles. Section three, the trustees direct the removal of unsecure, unsafe and structurally defective building shed. Section four, the trustees authorize Tom Botney, assistant zoning inspector of Hinckley Township to enter into an agreement with the Black River Salvage to remove all the junk motor vehicles, the unsecure, unsafe and structurally defective building shed and all vegetation, garbage, refuse and other debris. Section five, that the Hinckley Township Fiscal Officer is hereby authorized to place the expenses incurred by the Township Trustees into the in the removal of the debris upon the tax duplicate as a lien upon property owned by Vassal Mihaljevic Jr. on 25 River Road, Hinckley, Ohio, parcel number 01603B03023. Second. Second advice, by Swedek. No, I'm asking for a second. Do you have a second? You want oh, a second, Monique? Second, second. Second by Monique. Discussion? I would ask uh, Tom, you listen to this, and I just want to verify that you did look at all the items on the property and ascertain that there has been no action on any portion of this, correct? Well, this morning, uh, I since I didn't have a search warrant, I didn't, I didn't scroll up the entire property. I just yeah. visually inspected. I use the mic. He, Judy's taking minutes. Sorry. Okay, uh, this morning, I, I didn't inspect you know the entire property because I, of course, didn't have a search warrant to go onto the property. However, I, I, uh, I uh, just observed what, uh, what I could see from pulling in the driveway and noticing that Obviously, there is still junk, junk vehicles, debris. But you weren't able to tell if there are any of the other items on here. No, I, I, no, I, I, no, I didn't do a full, full inspection of the property. So there's no way to know if he is making any progress on any portion of it, just what you could see from the roadway. No. Well, and as the prosecutor just stated, the onus was on him to contact us and let us know if he was going to be doing any type of removal. Well, I'm, my concern is the statement in here says that he did that. He did testify that he didn't see any change. I saw no change in any progress from what I can observe by pulling in the driveway and looking. I mean, you, know, you can I, add yeah. that line if you want to. And did you say that it was hand delivered to his daughter? Uh, Chief according Sattner? to Chief, yeah, according to Chief Setner, he, uh, oh no, he didn't hand deliver it to the daughter. He uh, emailed the information to the daughter, okay. according to what he said. So this says that the, the last order was hand delivered to him by you, Tom, and, and a police officer? Yeah, I basically hand delivered the order to. Mr. Mr. Milosevic, yes. Saw him. Okay. So I did see him and hand delivered the order to him. Since uh, I believe yesterday we checked with the post office uh, for the uh, certified mail delivery of the order to see if he accepted it, but he, he didn't accept that. So no, he did not accept the certified mail uh, delivery of the order. But he did accept the hand delivery order. Yeah, I gave him that. Uh, and it was published. So, so what can we add in here, Heidi, to clean that up to reflect that we did not? I'm going to go ahead and amend it to say that the Hinckley Township Assistant Zoning Inspector testified that the junk vehicles, the unsecure, unsafe, and structurally defective building shed, and the vegetation, garbage, refuge, and other debris had not been removed as required by the order from his typical vantage point in the driveway. You good with that? Yeah, typical observation point from the driveway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if he has started progress, the benefit is when you go in to clean up, there'll be a reduced bill. Because uh, yeah. if, if things were missing that you did not see. So, yeah. 
Can I get a second? Any further discussion? Mm -mm. Second is amended. Second is amended. I'll call the rule, Augustine. Yes. Uh, Asheville. Yes. Sweat it, yes. Um, when I spoke to Chief Setner about this specific case, he did not find anything in the past of this gentleman as was previously stated publicly. Um, so we can have conversation now or at the next meeting with regard to how you wanna handle police presence. Well, the chief would have to be present for that, I would think. And you'd have to coordinate with the salvage yard for the, the salvage yard to be, when they could be there on the dates as well. Mm -hmm. I imagine that most of the salvage yards are accustomed to all types of scenarios. Tom, you'll have to work with Martha to make sure. Well, yeah, I was, I, you know, I was going to, I have a few questions, you know, I ask you yet on these salvage affidavits. Yes. Make sure that they're properly filled out. And then, Martha will, yeah, will, yeah, then I, yeah, I'll, Martha I'll, will make sure we got those filled Yeah, I'll, I'll turn them over to Martha then afterwards. Has there been any, Heidi, can you answer, has there been any movement by the health department on their end of So what the, the, the issue is with the health department is they cannot deal with the junk motor vehicles, which you have 16 of them. Secondly, because there are so many of these across the township, they cannot physically go in and clean up every one of these properties. Their budget just does not allow for it. So it, even though there is an avenue, it's a limited avenue with the health department. You did take them to court through that. The health department incurred court costs, which they cannot get back now. And they were not able to force them through a court order to get this done. So their avenue is very limited in the cleanup and how they can, you can go through and file a contempt. And I've, we, we've done this before on a previous resident in Hinkley. Um, it, it just incurs more and more court cost, but you don't get results. They're not able to do the same thing that we did here this evening? No. Not with the junk motor vehicles, not to the extent that you are able to do, no. Well, the, the, only, the only things yeah. that they've been successful in working with the health Please department say, is um, on limited issues, we can work with them on tires. They can get specialized grants through the EPA for tires. And even that is tricky because if somebody brings tires to their house, they deliberately did that action and you cannot clean them up on that property then. The health department's hands are closed. If tires were dropped off at a random location, the health department can get a grant and help clean up that area. But other than that, the health department is limited even with tires. And the same thing happens, it has to go back on their property taxes. And the nuisance is related more specifically to our zoning resolution. Correct. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a harder avenue and it's one that we can, it's very difficult for our office to go down and the health department financially to go down. Because if you list, it was $30,000 to take down one house, we took down, there was one, another one was 17, 20,000. Another, I mean, if you started adding these up across 17 townships, the health department cannot financially afford there's that. There's no way for them to put a tax lien on the same as we did. They don't have the money to expend forward and they cannot go in and clean up the cars. So this house is 17 cars. His primary nuisance is cars and they have no authority over junk motor vehicles. So they're very limited in this scenario. So though it's, like I said, tires even they're limited. So we have an issue with tires and several of our issues. And, and I'm thinking it would be nice down the road if a group could get together to look at different grants, look at different opportunities and look at countywide cleanup and what they can do. Um, but right now we are limited to this 
you know, have more township cleanup days? You know, would residents bring more stuff to us? Mm -hmm. That was one of the things I had talked about. You know, mm -hmm. and there are grants and EPA things for that. Mm -hmm. There are avenues. It's a very, I wish there were more resources out there for individuals who have, um, in particular, issues with managing their own cleanups, but they're, they're not. And, you know, and I think that's something that if a group could get together, the EPA, the health department, townships, and come up with a game plan, it would be nice to see if there were pooled resources that could occur. Could you have discounted days? But if an individual is not driving their tires to the cleanup place, you're not going to get, even if you offer a discount to collect them, if they're not complying, they're not going to do that. So you can open up avenues, but if they're not willing to comply. Well, and especially with the time frame, you look at this one and it's been you know so many years that we haven't seen any type of compliance. I just want to take a moment and thank you, Tom, for all of your work on this. I know this has not been an easy endeavor, and I know that you've been kind of notating the policy and procedure as you go through, so yeah. that we're ready in case there's another one. Um, also, Heidi, I want to thank you because I know that you've been rewriting these resolutions for mm -hmm. us as we've been mm -hmm. navigating it. So thank you so much for all your work and for being mm -hmm. here tonight. Mm -hmm. I, I would just offer, I look at this as a test case. I despise having to do this tonight. I know yeah. it's been a longstanding thing. I don't like putting this kind of intervention on any resident of the community. Yeah. Um, I'm concerned about the individual. I, I, I wish he had additional help out there somehow. And, and the only reason I agreed to do this is it sounds like it'll be minimal impact financially as it's spread out over the years for him. But um, I hope that we keep a close eye on him to make sure he's okay relative to the impact that we're having on his personal life. Yeah, I, so. I completely agree with you, oh, yeah. Trustee Swedek. I, I This is a hard thing to, to tackle and to type to put any type of tax lien on someone's home. Um, but in many ways, I've been told by other trustees, you know, the way they think about it is oftentimes we're helping them. And you are, or I mean, think about it, you are coordinating, you are moving the stuff off of them, and you are, you know, you're getting the best price to do this. You're not, so in a way it is, if someone is not capable of doing it themselves, you are helping them move forward in that process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. It's not something that um, I wanted to do. It still somewhat feels like a bit of an overstep to be doing this, but it would have been, I was more encouraged um, after we spoke about this last, after Chief Sentner had said that he had spoken to the daughter and the son and they were going to create a plan and start making some for forward progress on it. So we did not have to get to this point. Yeah. So it was, it, it's really disappointing that nothing came of that and that they they have not even returned his phone calls. No. So it's, we've, I feel, um, bent over backwards with um, the process, which is why this has been delayed because we were really trying to work with the property owner. Yeah. And I, I mean, even when we were originally contacted with this property, I thought based on his letters and stuff, there was encouragement. I mean, even re reached out to Melissa and, and we said, can you talk to him? Can you do this? And, you know, and we tried. We for, really tried. I went to the store myself for over a year to try to get contact with them. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't it wasn't there. But in the end, he'll have a clean property that he'll be able to enjoy and it'll be safer. You're not going to have varmints living in those cars. You're not going to have trash that's potentially you know hazardous for him. And I know the neighbors will be very pleased with yeah. our efforts as well. Yeah. Any uh, any further comments? No. From public. Thank you. I will make a motion. Move to adjourn at uh, seven p.m. Second. Seconded by Ashley. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mm -hmm.